The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. Join Pastor Benny Hinn in Israel, October 29th through November 7th. You'll walk where Jesus walked, from Galilee to Jerusalem, and pray in Gethsemane. Take communion at the Garden Tomb. Visit the Upper Room. Sail the Sea of Galilee. Be baptized in the Jordan River and much, much more. So come with me to the Holy Land, to Israel. Your life won't be the same, neither will mine. So come, let's experience God in the Holy Land. Call today for information or go online to download a brochure. Experience Israel with Pastor Benny Hinn. You'll never be the same. Pastor Benny Hinn is urgently preaching the gospel to the lost because the world's only hope is salvation through God's only Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God is life eternal. This is your day to join Benny Hinn in proclaiming Jesus as Savior and Healer. Do you know the Lord loves you? Do you know how special you are to Him? He cares much for you, casting all your cares upon Him for he careth for you, the Bible says. That's right, Jesus loves you and all is well. He's not angry with you. Remember, his love is forever. On the program today, I have with me Bishop John Francis from London, Ruach Ministries. I love the way you say it, Ruach, Ruach yes. Ministries. You know, I, I met you on TBN a few weeks ago and yes. you were so anointed. I said. We got to get this dear man on the wow. program. Now, you were talking then about, just kind of go through it again one more time quickly with me. Well, I, I, it's, it's amazing how God does some things because I was supposed to go back home that day. Yeah. And um, I couldn't get a flight out and they were charging me extra money. Yeah. And they said, if I just stay one more day, uh, then I wouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah. So I said, well, it ain't going to hurt me. Let me stay an extra right. day. And you know how um, Paul Crouch is. I, he told me, come back on the studio, come back and say something. And I didn't realize I was going to be well, preaching. You were powerful, brother. You and were powerful. I, I was expecting you to come on. So I, I thought, well, let me just hurry up and do what this. No, hurry. you blessed me so much. Uh, it was incredible. I was sitting in the, in the back talking to Steve Brock. Yes. And I heard you on, uh, uh, on the monitor. And I came out. I said, man, I got to hear this. Mm. And uh, listen, today on the program, by the way, you have a big church in London now. Where in London exactly? Our church is in a place called Brixton. It's South London. We are right at the edge of uh, Parliament. We're down there and the Lord. We have over 5,000 people that attend our services. It's amazing for it, London. Yeah. You know that's wow. major because... Um, well, I can see why with the, with, with the mighty anointing on your life and the way wow. you minister so powerfully. Now, I want you to talk about this. I want yes. you to see this, precious saints. This is... A prayer shawl. Prayer shawl. And, and you're going to talk about, yes. about what now to do with the prayer shawl? The what? prayer shawl it, uh, it, itself I, I'm going to talk, what? I'm going to talk about the woman with the issue of blood. Uh, because you have an anointing on healing, and I, I want to say this because I have been watching you for years. Thank you. And being tremendously blessed. Uh, my whole life is a miracle. My mother had cancer. And um, they thought she was never going to live, but she mm. couldn't die. And the reason why she couldn't die, because I wasn't born yet. So I'm the child that was born after cancer. And since then, uh, I, I guess my ministry and my father's ministry, um, when he was alive, um, we have been gravitating to what we call a healing ministry. Absolutely. Uh, because since God did it to her, delivered her, of course, that's something that I believe now in healing. And people don't believe in divine healing, but I've watched your ministry. I've, I've see seen you, how you. God has moved, um, even just on the television. So I, I thought today while I was coming, uh, the Lord put in my heart, I did a teaching on this prayer shawl. A lot of people seem to see it all over. It's a, a Jewish prayer shawl, which they call the Talith. Yes. Um, and uh, a lot of things that uh, that comes to my mind, especially the book of Mark, when the Bible speaks about there was a man by the name of Jairus who needed a miracle Mark for five, his, yeah. his, yes, Mark 5, right. for his daughter. And he tries to get towards Jesus yeah. that he would come to his house to pray, to, to touch his daughter. 
And the Bible says that whilst he was doing that, behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came to Jairus' name, and he saw him and fell at his feet. Now, that's an incredible thing for a man of that caliber to drop down in the status he is in at the feet of Jesus. But I found that when people are desperate for a miracle, they will do things that they don't normally would do. That's exactly right. And I think one of the things that we've got to understand when God's getting ready to do something, we've got to put aside all of our class and our status and say, God, I need a miracle right now. I need you to do it right now. And, and this is the powerful Jairus just came down, fell at his feet, and the Bible said begged him. Can you imagine that? He begged him. He said, listen, could you come and deal with my little daughter? She is dying. She's at the point of death. Lay your hands. And what, an, what is so amazing about this is that right in the middle of all of this, there comes an interruption with a woman who has, the Bible calls, an issue of blood. And for those who don't know, she's hemorrhaging. She has a constant flow. Um, and the Bible says that she was in such a bad way. And if anybody understands, according to the Leviticus law, the Bible says in the book of Leviticus, whenever a woman has a hemorrhage, um, if she's bleeding, she is deemed as unclean. Right. Everything she touches is unclean. Anything that connects to her is unclean. So biblically, or, or should I say culturally, she should not be outside and she should not be going into the crowd trying to get to Jesus. But the Bible says she um, has got to a point where she had spent all of her money and put her hope in physicians. And the Bible says this, that they took her money and that's something that people would do. And instead of the situation got better, it got worse. Right. But the Bible says she heard that Jesus was passing by. Now, what I want to show um, about this woman, that this woman is walking in divine revelation. And a lot of people don't realize this because she's breaking some rules. She needs a miracle. She hears that the Messiah is coming. This one who calls himself the son of the living God is coming. And the Bible says she's been in this situation for 12 years. And she had suffered many things as a physician. And instead of her situation got better, it got worse. And the Bible said when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him uh, uh, and, 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 and behind the crowd that she would touch him. Notice she shouldn't be touching him. Leviticus, Leviticus law says, you're unclean, That's but right. she is going to touch him. Now, what I found out in biblical days, um, a rabbi, uh, when they were, would have, they would have this prayer show, which is called the talith, uh, which is called, some people call it the talith, it's called the zitzit. What does that mean exactly? The talith is actually a prayer show, which the Jewish people would wrap themselves in. What is the word? Talith, prayer Ta shawl? Ta talith, yeah, it's the yeah. prayer shawl. It's, it's the shawl that they would use to cover themselves when they're about to pray. Now, according to the book of Numbers, and I think this is where you get a, a better understanding, I think it is in, in Numbers um, chapter uh, 15, it says here in verse 37, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, tell them to make tassels, and on the corners of their garments um, throughout all generation and to put a blue thread in the tassels or the corners and you shall have the tassels that you may look on it and to remember the commandments of the Lord. So on this, this prayer shawl, if you will notice, and, and this is a great one that you, you have, um, Pastor Benny, it has what you call these tassels here. And you will notice there's a blue thread in these tassels. And this is to remind them of the law. And they were commanded every Jew to so wrap themselves. So they put this on their garments and their on garments. the prayer shawls too. That's right. Wow. They, they put it on their garment and on the prayer shawl. And they would have it at the end of the garment. And it was to remind them of the law of God, the word of God, that they would live by the word of God, that they would not sin. Now, uh, apparently this word, tassels, has several meanings. And it's important for you to know this. It means hem also, but it also means fringes, and it also means zit zit. And another translation is wings, and that's so important. So what happened now? Jesus is um, wrapped himself either in one of this or on the end of his garment. He has one of this. He has to as a Jew. And the woman now is going towards him, 
and she's going to do something which is against the Leviticus law because for her to go through, and now man, imagine this crowded, she's going to touch Jesus, but she's going to break the law and she's going to be touching everybody else, which she would make them unclean to get to Jesus. But she goes and presses forward towards him. And mm. what I like about it, she said this, if I could but touch, I think this is, let me get the right word because it's In so important yeah. uh, what, what she says here. When she heard that Jesus was, um, uh, uh, came behind him, the crowd, and touched his garment, for she said, if only I may touch his clothes. Now, I, 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 it's important to note that Mark is giving us a, a, a presentation here. Mark is writing to the non-Jewish community. Right. Now, Matthew uses the word hem because there is something important about that word hem. But you will notice in the book of Mark, he will use earlier, he will start using the word just clothes. She touches the end of his clothes or uh, the, the clothes. But what really happened, according to Matthew, was the M of the garment. And she said, if I could only but touch his hem. She directly went after the hem. She could have touched anywhere. She could have touched his back. She said, if I could touch his belly, could I touch his feet? No, she said, I want to touch his hem. The reason why this woman had a revelation mm. that nobody else has, because she said, I need a miracle. This is powerful. I need this miracle, and I, I've got to get a hold of Jesus. Now, what hit me, um, Pastor Benny, is that in the book of Malachi, which is the last prophetic word before Jesus comes, he writes in Malachi chapter 4, Behold the day of the Lord coming, burning like an oven, and the proud, yes, and all those do wickedly would, would, would be stumbled. And then when you jump down to verse 2, it says, But to you who fear my name, the sun, the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise. This is prophetic. With healing in his wings. Now, this tassel here, this cloth here, what has the law, is known as a wings. That's amazing. When the woman came to Jesus, oh God, oh my she said, you know what? I know there is going to be a miracle for me because if this man is Jesus, according to the book of Malachi, the touching of his garment, the zit zit, I shall be made whole. Because the son of righteousness, he's going to arise. The evidence that he is who he is, healing is going to be in his wings. So she came and she said, if I could touch it, then I know I would be made whole. She touches his garment and immediately... The blood that she was dealing with that kept on flowing, the hemorrhage dried up. The amazing thing is Jesus turned around <laughs> and said, somebody touch me. That's right. Now, That's what, right. what more gets me, Pastor Benny, is she touched his clothes. She touched his clothes. But remember, this is symbolic of the word. What you have here is the Bible says that they should wrap themselves and at the end of this would have the word of God, the commandments of God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word became flesh Bless and God. dwelt among us. Amen. When she touched the zit zit, the wings, the hem, she was touching the word of God. Mm. Mm. And Jesus turned around and said, oh, wait, somebody touch me, not my clothes. Somebody tapped into something that nobody else knew about. And when she touched him, he said, somebody touched me. And all of the people said, oh, you're crazy. Don't you see there's a crowd? Everybody is touching you. No. He said, somebody touched me because virtue, life came out of me. The woman tapped into a revelation of healing like never before. Mm. Mm. Interrupt the process of Jairus' miracle. Jesus. Now, it ain't over here, but this is where the revelation gets good. I have never heard this. You've never heard this never. before. I, this is I, awesome. I, I'm telling you. My God, it's I'm awesome. telling you, this is so, it blew my mind. Now, when you keep on reading this scripture, you will notice here that, remember, Jairus is trying to get a miracle. He's trying to get a miracle for his daughter. Interruption comes in. This woman gets a miracle. She gets healed. And then now... Somebody comes and tells Jairus, don't bother, trouble the master, your child's dead. That's right. Jesus said, hey, if you only believe, do not be afraid. Because right. you see, when things don't start going the way we want it to go, 
fear comes in. And the devil knows that fear is the opposite of faith. Yep. He believed that Jesus could heal him, but now it looks like a, a, a sad situation, yeah. a thing that cannot turn around. Now, the Bible says that he says, only believe. And then Jesus does something. The Bible says he permits no one to follow him. Because, you know, sometimes when you need a miracle, you don't need negative people around you. Exactly. Wow. I, I, I've noticed, I've noticed, if I can say, when I come to your crusades and I watch your crusades, the anointing, the worship, the way you lead people into worship is so important to create the atmosphere Absolutely. for miracles. Absolutely. See, I'm a worshiper as well. I, I'm a singer. I, I, I worship as well. And so I, I, I'm attracted. And by the way, I, I take all your songs. <laughs> I have a miracle service every last Sunday That's in my so church. Hard. I sing all your songs so and I create the same atmosphere. And we've seen cancer being removed, the blind eyes Thank open, you, the Jesus. miracles happening Thank because you, the atmosphere is so important. I, I just feel led of the Lord to tell people who wants to be. I mean, you have some awesome miracles crusades coming and we're looking forward for you to come into London I'm coming, yeah. and I'm telling people you don't need to be around people that don't believe absolutely that, that you have to only believe and the Bible says here that he goes in and he permits no one to follow him except Peter James and John these are the inner court people yeah these are the ones that have been around him <laughs> and, and, and anytime you want God to do something you've got to make sure you are around the right people absolutely. the right people can create the atmosphere for a miracle. The Bible says here, and it, 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 so it ain't finished here. It says, he comes to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and he sees professional mourners, tumults, <laughs> people crying, weeping, wailing. And when he comes, he said to them, why are you making such a commotion? Because Jesus already knows the end of the result. So he says, uh -huh. why? The child's not dead. She's sleeping. Now, here is the, the amazing thing is, the child now is supposedly dead but he's saying no this ain't no situation for me she's sleeping and what gets me here the bible says that at, at that time they began to talk about him ridicule him but when he he came to a point he put them outside because sometimes when you need a miracle you need to get some people out of your life absolutely. until you get your miracle oh, and the bible says he put them outside and then afterwards he only lets the mother and father comes in now here's the best part I found out all good, rabbi. brother. I found, out from, good. I, I, I found out from a rabbi that that what they would do is when a child dies, they would wrap them in a shroud in the talit. Really? And they would wrap this child. A rabbi told you. Yes, that. a rabbi told me because I, I needed to make sure wow. I'm not saying saying something that don't make sense. And they would wrap that child in the talit, and the child would be there when they, the child passes. Now. Jesus is a rabbi. He's not supposed to go into a room and be where a dead child is. But let's just say what qualifies him to go into the room. The woman with the issue of blood touches him. And according to the Leviticus law, by she touching him, she's made him unclean. Exactly. Which qualifies him to go into the house where the dead child is. Dear Lord. Now, here's this. It ain't through yet. She's wrapped up. <laughs> Brother, I got to take a praise okay. break. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. No, I mean, you're, saying, you're saying things I'm telling you, you know, we just don't think about. Yes. That when she touched him, yes, she made him unclean, basically. Yes. I mean, what, what the law said. For the, so the law. And as a rabbi, he could not be what the dead are. Yes. But he did because of that. Yes, yes. God. Now, the Son of God, of course, could not be unclean, yes, but basically, yes. according to the law. According to the Jewish custom. He, right. And Jesus was very good at trying to keep up with the people. That's right. This is good. Trying to keep up with. And so here's the nice thing. She's wrapped up in this. And Jesus says something really strange. He says, Talitha kumai. Now, he speaks in Aramaic rather than speaking in Jew. Now, in Aramaic, Talitha Kumai means damsel, little child, yeah, arise, get up, arise. arise. But the word talith in the Hebrew is this. For goodness sake. He was saying child wrapped up in the word. <laughs> I say to you, <laughs> arise. Wow. See, when there's a word that wow. God gives, I don't care how bad the situation wow. is, you, the death. Can, the dead can come to absolutely, life. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. It takes a word. It takes Mal a word. Mal it Mal takes Mal a word. Mal it Mal takes Mal a word. Mal so immediately, see, Talitha Kumai. That's what he said. Mal Child wrapped up 
in the, the word, word. wrapped you, up Jesus. in the word. I'm telling you, people wow. don't understand. For years, we've been seeing the Jewish people wrapping up, praying in this. And we didn't understand as Gentile people the power of this, mm. the prayer shawl, the power, the anointing in mm. the prayer shawl. I've heard stories of people uh, it, that's got healing. I was in a wow. crusade at a conference in Philadelphia, and there was a woman with cancer. And I was preaching this very message, Pastor Benny. And after I finished preach, the Holy Ghost said to me, to just wrap it around people, and mm. they were being slain with the power of God. Then the pastor, the bishop that was um, over that conference said to me, there's a lady who has cancer in a wheelchair. And um, when I, I, I heard, he said, would you go to the back and pray for her? So I said, okay, I'll do that. I went over to the back, wrapped her up, just like I preached the word. And she was in the wheelchair, and they said she had cancer, she was going to die. And I said to her, as the word said tonight, Talitha Kumai, oh God. God said arise. Pastor Benny, that woman get, came out of the wheelchair mm. and she began to walk. This year I went back to that conference again. They invited me a second time mm. and she was testifying how she's completely Mama. healed from cancer. People don't realize the power in this prayer show. And I really believe that God's going to do some awesome miracles because of what, let me tell you, this is the season. This is the time for manifestation. The Lord has us in prayer. I've been praying and he said, John, this is the year of intercession. The word intercession, inter means between. Session means to stop. It means to stand in, to, in the gap. Wow. Uh, I think the, the, the word for that is paga. I believe that God is, is, is setting up. And I'm so excited you're coming to London. I'm excited of the crusades you've been doing, man of God. And I pray that you will continue like other preachers just seem to uh, are thinking in just one mode. But the Lord has used you to go to the nation of the world. I've seen the crowds in India and in Africa and in, in Croatia and in, in, in Korea, rather. All these different places. And people need to be free. People need deliverance. They will criticize your ministry. They criticize all God's ministers. But let me tell you something. There is a divine healing power Thank and an anointing on your life for such a time as this. And God's going to do some Thank awesome you, things. Jesus. And I believe Thank today, you. while we're watching, someone's getting oh. a miracle right now. Pray, pray, hallelujah. pray for them right now. Oh, fa Thank oh you, hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you right now for your anointing. Thank you for your power. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your Holy Spirit yes, that is Lord. right here, right now. God, somebody needs a miracle right now. Somebody under the sound of my voice needs a miracle. And I pray in the name of Jesus as we connect, Lord, with yes, this Lord. prayer show you, that Jesus. somebody will get a miracle yes, right Lord. now. Right Cancer, now. we destroy you. In, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. In Blood Jesus. pressure, we destroy you. In, Jesus. in the name of Je Jesus. Sugar diabetes, we destroy you. Whatever sickness you have, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, just like Jesus said, Talitha Kumai, yes. child wrapped up in a word. You can't die. There's a word over your life. You can't go. There's a word over your life. God has promised you destiny and purpose. And in the name of Jesus, we decree healing and miracles right now. In the name of Jesus, ah, according to your word, we thank you. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa. I got to tell you something, precious saint. You know, I was in the Holy Land a few months back. Yes, Jesus. And uh, we offered this to our people, and I had never felt wow. free to offer it on TV. I said, well, there's a time for it. Yeah. And you, he came this morning, and he said he was, he's going he's to teach on this. And he said, you had forgotten your... Yes, my prayer show. <laughs> I said, the I, said, said I think we have one here somewhere. <laughs> And it was up in one of the offices, and we have these in our warehouse. Amazing. Thank you. And we don't have a whole lot of them. Wow. But we'll order more. And if you want a prayer shot like this, Jesus, I feel that honor here. Lord, oh, my God, you. I give you I'm praise. Lord, you, people of God, lift your hands and praise yes, Him. Jesus. Thank yes, you for your miracle. Just thank Him right Thank now you, for Jesus. your healing. Praise thank Him for your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the Lord God Hallelujah. Almighty. We bless your name, we bless Lord. You, Lord. We, we bless you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, you can get one of these prayer shawls. In, in fact, on these we have the scriptures written in Hebrew. Yes. We have something also beautiful on the, on the sides here in English. For he made him to be sin, yes. who, that we might become the righteousness of God. Wow. Isn't that great? Son of, remember, the son of righteousness shall arise. Yeah, we had scriptures put on, wow. on, the, on the edges. 
Here it says, but aren't you who fear my name shall the son of righteous arise ah, there with it healing is. in it his wings. Malachi. And he was wounded for our transgressions, yes. bruised for... Isaiah 53 is on this. So we have scriptures on healing. Wow. Uh, on, the, on this and on, on deliverance. Wow. So you precious saints that want this, you can get it today. In fact, I'm trying to read. It says this one here. And they desired of him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. Yes. As many as touched it were made whole. Dear God, I feel that only. You know, That's she so started precious. a resolution. The, when you look in the scripture, Pastor Benny, after that, everyone was touching his garment. Ah. Everyone. Listen, for a gift of $30, you can get this. Just call wow. today and you Thank send you. your gift. Help us go around the world. Honestly, I wasn't planning on offering this, but... God, God is in this. Yes. The Lord is yes. really in this. And a free gift for you, your will, Lord, not mine, discovering God's will for your life. It's a free gift. Make sure to call today. And I'm asking you to send your email addresses because I'm now sending you special uplifting faith-building messages from around the world. And I send you little video clips on email. And we do these, you know, email blasts, and it's wonderful. The response has been fabulous. If you want me to be sending that to you, and to encourage you on a continual basis through email. Send us your email address. It's wonderful to be in touch this way, day by day. Blessed be your name, Lord. I pray every life will be transformed and used and anointed in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Pastor Benny Hinn has four exclusive prayer shawls which will enhance your time with the Lord and remind you of His promises. Household salvation includes scriptures for you and your loved ones. Prosperity reminds you of God's plan to bless and prosper His children. The power of God features promises of His might and protection. And the glory of God relates His desire to fellowship with you in His presence. Your choice of these prayer shawls is available for a gift of $30 or two for $50. Quantities of each are limited, so call today for the best selection. Tonight, Pastor Benny Hinn begins a series of miracle services in Canada at the Prayer Palace in Toronto at 7, followed by services tomorrow at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. And this weekend, he'll be in Montreal for miracle services on Saturday and Sunday at 7 each evening. Next week, Pastor Benny will be in Detroit, Michigan on Thursday and Friday, August 8th and 9th for miracle services at Greater Grace Temple. And he'll return to Europe later this month for services in England, Wales, Spain, France, and Switzerland. For more information on these and other events, please visit the ministry website at www.bennyhen.org. Pastor Benny also invites you to join him for a life-changing visit to the Holy Land, October 29th through November 7th. You'll walk where Jesus walked and experience the presence of the Holy Spirit as the Bible comes alive to you in a brand new way. Download a brochure today or call for more information. Visit Israel. You'll never be the same.